Hey, what is up and welcome to the final Blu-ray update edition of Worth a Watch with me, Anthony Flores. This is going to be, oh, it's it's just crazy. A whole year is come and gone. Um, and just some FYI, as you can see, I've done this format before and this is what I'm going to probably stick with as long as I keep doing Blu-ray updates here on the channel. It's better to be up close and personal with a Blu-ray. I feel like such a fucking moron showing um, a Blu-ray right next to my head and waving it around. And it's much better to showcase it up close and personal, especially for those of you who are interested in what a Blu-ray looks like up close or how the slipcover is, if it's glossy, matted, whatever the case may be. Uh, I will be doing this format from here on out. So just some FYA for those of you who enjoy watching my little Blu-ray updates here. And we shall get started. First title up is The World's End. My god, this movie is fantastic. It's a nice ending to the unofficial trilogy, uh, the Cornetto trilogy from us. Um, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and director Edgar Wright. I, I love all the movies. Um, Shaun of the Dead, I guess, would uh, still have to be my personal favorite. But all of the movies are really terrifically good. In the sense of parodying um, various genre films, this takes a jab at the whole sci-fi uh, action films that are out there and the, the invasion of the body snatchers type films. And yeah, it's a really fucking amazing movie. And for $12.99, that is arguably one of the better deals you can get. Unless you get lucky enough to find it in a pawn shop for 5 bucks, that's probably the ne next best thing. But couldn't help it, had to have this title and this one. Which is also twelve ninety nine. We're the Millers, and there is some nasty glare. My apologies. Um, wow, that's my camera is really wacky with this right now. I guess it doesn't like the slipcover. Um, really awesome slipcover. I love this film a lot in terms of just get that. Yeah, that's so fucking weird. I don't know. I guess the really bad glare off this particular slipcover. Um, really fucks with the camera for some reason, as you can see there. Yep, that's not good for anybody. Um, this movie it was such a big surprise. It grew on me as I saw it more often. I really just enjoy the chemistry amongst the cast. Oh, God, Jennifer Aniston is a stripper. <laughs> uh, Jason Sudeikis is an over-the-top drug dealer and so much more. Ed Helms being a complete and total douche. <laughs> um... A really fun movie. It's nothing technically special, I guess, but it really won me over with repeated viewings, and I'm very happy to finally own it on Blu-ray with this pretty fucking sweet slipcover right there. Next up is a movie that I've had to buy twice now. This is the second time buying it, and I couldn't help it. I had to get the steelbook. Uh, I've said many a times before... Not a big fan of steelbooks, especially since so many of them can get scraped and dented so easily. A couple of my steelbooks I know have a bit of wear and tear, but I had to get me The Dark Knight. Man, this is fucking... Wow, this matted finish and just this... This is a very um, underused photo of Heath Ledger's Joker character. Not very many people use this photo. I do know it was on the... Bat pod packaging, and that's about it. Everybody always uses that other photo of him just standing, guns ablaze, and which is also badass. But I think this is a fairly underused photo or still from the film. And you got that badass inside artwork. Um, I never liked the original Blu ray packaging, which is what I had. Um, that original Blu ray packaging sucked, it was just the worst cover. What I just couldn't stand it, and when I found out this was out there, and eventually I got enough money to pick this up, ten bucks could not beat that. Very happy to have this in my collection. And the last, but definitely not least, title and that I picked up uh, as of today, as I'm filming this, actually, Spy Kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, I grew up with this film. Saw it in theaters with my family as growing up. I loved a lot of these kids' films, if you will. Who doesn't when they're uh, uh, just a 10, 11-year-old kid? And this movie just took my imagination away, man. Just just took it on a wild trip. It's hilarious. It's fun. And 
surprisingly a decent amount a decent amount of special features as well and this is a hard to come by random little blu-ray here I, I really dig um, the artwork all around it I'm glad they kept their original artwork actually but I don't know why I just have never found it in a pawn shop and I've never found it anywhere on eBay under 10 bucks I don't know what the fuck was up with that but it's in local Walmart bins right now so for those of you who have been looking for spy kids now's your chance I guess <laughs> um, but it is a family favorite of mine I love um, various um, family films that have grown on me and have stuck with me I still enjoy this now I rewatched this already and it looks great on blu-ray I'm really happy to have this and for 788 I couldn't beat that price it I just love uh, Robert Rodriguez's work I really just dig all of his stuff I love his action films and this is the only true great family film he's done everything else <sighs> damn he went downhill so quickly um Spy Kids 4 was complete and utter shit and enough said about that um some great blu-ray titles very happy to have picked all these up and I'm very happy to say these are the final titles that I picked up for 2013. It's crazy that it's over, but it's been a fun year in Blu-ray collecting. So um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter now. Link in the description below for that. And stay tuned for my best and worst of lists. I'm not sure if I'll have them quite up on New Year's Eve. But if not, for sure, the first week of January. Stay tuned for all that good stuff. And uh, that should do it for the final Blu-ray update of 2013. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'm Anthony Flores with Worth a Watch and keep going to the movies.